Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here with Ty and Emmy Thies. Not only uh, are these guys my directors and mentors in life as well as business, but um, also I consider them family, so it's such a privilege to have you guys here today. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. So I guess first, everyone wants to know a little bit of back history on your guys' lives. So immersed in the real estate industry, both of you, do you want to tell us how that all happened, how you guys met, and how we are where we are today? Oh, can I start with how we met? Kick it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were 20 when we met, and we're 35 now. Um, and I actually met Ty through motocross at the motocross club. I signed up to start riding, and he was someone who had to sign my license off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess the rest is history. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was the good coach. No, nice. yeah. <laughs> so he kick, was. kicked off in motocross. And then what brought you guys to start in real estate? Because, I mean, you were immersed in that from a young age. I yes, think. yeah. My parents were in property. I remember on the weekends when I'd be like 14, 15, folding the flyers, sitting at the open houses, you know, doing the letters, um, which was awesome. It was a really good, um, I guess, a way to meet people and have confidence and connect. And I think it's just part of my personality. I didn't want to do anything else, even though my parents encouraged me to go down the path of uni, which I enrolled in and started. I still worked in the family business and kept myself busy there and then eventually I got the opportunity to jump across full time. Cool. Yeah, not long after um, a year into my degree, <laughs> which I do not regret. Yeah, yeah cool. it's been amazing. Nice. I guess my entry into it was having done accounting for quite a fair while, a lot of investment property clients and then also being with Emmy then for just over three years before we actually kicked off and I got involved into it. Yeah. Um, but that, that kind of instigated it then. She converted me across from accounting. To the dark side, <laughs> hey? <laughs> <laughs> to the fun stuff. To the yeah. fun stuff, the everyday. All part of your yeah. life, it all blends, you know? Yeah, everything so touches everything. Of course. So you guys opened, I believe, I know most of the background story, but I think 23. Yep. You opened yep. your own agency. 23. Yeah, we're 23 and it was in 2010, just yeah, um, on that cusp of that GFC market. I had a few other principals in town ring us and say, what are you guys doing? You're crazy. Why would you start a business in this climate? I'm selling, I'm finishing. Yeah. I'm we're retiring. Like, well, we're starting. We can't yeah. wait. What made you open it? Like you just didn't care about the timing of it all? Like obviously with the global financial crisis in that year, you just... We just really wanted to, I guess, represent ourselves and our friends and our family and people we knew and um, be, be in the community in our own right. So we'd yeah. grown up around real estate, obviously ties in accounting, and we thought we could just bring something to people that was a fun experience rather than being stale and clunky and... Um, just feeling, you know, difficult. Mm -hmm. like Think, to... Thinking about it, I think a lot of our success came from thinking about it from as if it was our own property and what we would do, like how rather we make than having a, an, old, um, an old stigma or an old method, an old way just stuck in our, mm -hmm. in our head. We were like just like, okay, well, how can we just make this the best that we possibly can? Yeah, how do we make it the best? Like, what's something we would love? And yeah, yeah. tie jokes, he's like, oh, Emmy has fantasy standards. So I was like, let's just apply that to everything. <laughs> Yeah. I guess you guys are doers though, like, and that's so like cliche doers versus thinkers, but anything that you guys think of, you implement like yes. straight away. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Power of an idea is in its yeah. implementation. My business coach, Michael Shigot, always says that. And ever since like, we'll, something will come to us and we'll be like, okay, how do we implement it? Mm. What's the next thing? Mm. So we'll have like key projects, key things. And I think that's why like, this is so invigorating sharing this because yeah. we're on that next page of yeah. implementation and sharing. hundred percent. Definitely. And I guess tie for you, the mastermind behind the operations, the management of the business, including managing myself uh, which is which is <laughs> you have two jobs here um, how have you you know what's your day-to-day -day look like how does that operate for you on a normal scale day-to-day uh, -day, uh, like the first the number one priority is always clients clients buyers sellers yeah. investors tenants owners just and tradespeople and everyone involved so that's probably my number one priority is today is responding and, yeah. and making sure that's all tidy and then into more of the operational stuff which is you know like accounting accounts confirming things processing making sure what what's the next thing that we could implement and bring into the business innovations and then I guess just checking in with everyone, all of our agents, property managers, admin, making sure that they're also across everything with their clients, so there's no nothing, nothing gets missed. Yeah, cool. And I guess touching on and that, invested. 
Yeah, and me. <laughs> yes. I'm number one. <laughs> we met you eight my, years ago. Yeah. My third child. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, literally. <laughs> um, the new agency and the rebrand. Can you explain a little bit of what the name is, what it's about, the logo, everything behind it from now so everyone can know what's going on? Obviously, we're now tomorrow. Um, it's all been designed around being obviously innovation and bring something new to the market, being able to encompass more people into, in, into it, so an emphasis around the people. Yes, we're changing that up with the last 15 years being in property services and having house that long. When we birthed that, we were 23. Mm. Now we're 35. We've had this industry experience and a lot of exposure. We want to create something that is holistic. So it's not just about property, it's actually people. Mm. Like what we realise being in this business is everything is connected to people. So we want to help create people's futures, like their tomorrows. Yeah. So every activity that we do, the way that we're bringing this to market, it's it's so exciting to have something different <laughs> to the norm. Yeah. It just gives me goosebumps because there's so many layers to what we're going to create. Yeah. But what people are accustomed to dealing with, which is incredible attention to detail, amazing energy and brilliant outcomes is at our core. I love it. That's very exciting. I'm excited. I mean, of course, we're all on the same team. <laughs> so um, touching the next point, uh, in terms of your advice or the most challenges you've faced throughout the time you've been in the game, what's been the most challenging point that you've found? Well, there's not one challenging point. <laughs> yeah, probably, not, probably not a single challenging point. I think overall what I've learned being human is that your container stretches. So the bigger you can grow your container, what you can hold, the more opportunity you have. So it's it's really a mental game. Everything's mm -hmm. managing our mental state and how we operate with people and not letting red herrings or little things distract us and take us away from what our core mission is, yeah. which is to serve people. Yeah. Cool. And I guess being in the business at 23, so very young, yeah. um, and the experience you guys have gained, is there any th like three key points that you could take away? Yep. I know there's probably a thousand, yeah. but um, that for anyone watching that is either looking to get into business or is currently in business from the outside in, what would be your three key points or advice? Kicking off, mm. over budget. <laughs> <laughs> over budget yep. and over budget. Yep. <laughs> Is the money again. <laughs> yeah. Mine would be whatever your burning desire is or something that's there that's talking to you, go all in with it because those little voices become louder and louder and if you ignore them, you never get to go and follow mm. that path. So we're constantly changing. The world has evolved more than we've ever seen in the last 24 months and I think adaptability and following that inner, inner calling. You know, yeah. People have changed their lifestyles, their homes, their jobs, their cities. Like It's, yeah. it's like that level of freedom and people are craving yeah. so I think that's something that's at one of our highest value is is values is giving people opportunity yeah. and freedom so making sure whatever your idea is and what you want to chase you're gonna put you're gonna triple down you're gonna have late nights you're gonna have early mornings you're gonna be asked more of mm -hmm. yourself than you ever think possible make sure that that gut and that idea that you're chasing is something you really want yeah. Mm, yeah. and manage your emotional state, have really good people around you, yeah. have a great mentor and coach, invest the money back into yourself because the person you have to back is you. You're yeah. the person that delivers that energy and that experience, especially yeah. when I guess you're in we're businesses. Not, we're not. It's um, leadership. Yeah, and we're not the smartest pe person we're definitely in the room. Like, we there's wanna, always someone else, we whether it's the attract smarter people first day trainee or yes. the person that's been doing it for 50 years. You know, anyone is equally I guess equally has it has ideas and yeah the wits yeah and brings things to the table powerful ideas yeah, yeah don't underestimate yeah. the people around you yeah. and reach out to to share and learn from people yeah. it's amazing I always felt when I was young you know sometimes you'd think you'd be intimidated I remember one day I called Clive because I wanted to catch up with him and interview him and just ask him about life I was mm. you know a few years into business and it was so fascinating he made the time I got to sit with him fortunately we'd worked for him and sold him property so we had a relationship and you know, the grit of life is like, he said, you need to turn up every day. Yeah. He goes, I live for my business, I love it. Nice. And it's just that reality of like, it is that burning desire. You yeah. have to have that level of passion to yeah. really survive and thrive yeah. and find ways to keep that alive in you. And I think that's big for us is, you know, 12 years of what has been has been incredible, but it's time for us to elevate and, and bring yeah. something really special to the market, which excites us and serves yeah. our clients. Nice. Cool. Well, that's it for today. We wanted to keep it very short and sharp. It's a very small snippet 
into Emmy and Ty's life, crazy lifestyle, which is so amazing and full of hard work. Um, but thank you so much. And uh, we can't wait to see what happens this year. Thank you. Thank you.